Hello everyone, Claire Jones from Clarifications Coaching. Some of you have been asking how I incorporate my coaching practices into my own daily routines, so I started up this video series to go over how I walk the walk as well as talk the talk. Last time I finished up the physical needs and today I'm going to talk about, start introducing the connecting time, which is part of the social needs. Now, just as a reminder, social needs and physical needs are two aspects, two categories of areas on the healthy mind platter wheel. That's a framework that goes over seven essential areas of your life that should be balanced for optimal brain health. So connecting time is vitally important because our brains are evolutionarily wired to seek out social connections to incre increase our chances of survival. This is to the point where many researchers argue that the need for social time and connecting time is as vital of a need as the need for water, shelter, or food, because we were evolutionarily disposed to seek out group connections so that we could increase our chances of survival as um, previous humans. So... In fact, it actually is a cause of physical pain when we are socially excluded or experience social pain because it is so necessary for our chances of survival. The brain actually interprets it as a physical pain to be socially excluded. So not only does social support have positive benefits on the cardiovascular, endocrine, and immune systems, but satisfying social relationships also increase the more positive outlooks on life. It increases more secure attachments to others and interactions with others. It provides more flexibility when you're dealing with psychological challenges, and it actually enhances your ability to have efficient restorative behaviors and systems in your body. So I'm an introvert that actually loves people. So I have to be really, really careful when I balance my need for social time, because I can easily swing to the side of being alone all the time and get really lonely, or swing to the side of having too much social connection and get overwhelmed and burnt out. For example, when I used to be working a much more forward-facing front desk job, I would be exhausted by the end of the day because I was constantly interacting with people throughout the day that I had no energy by the end of the day to do more socializing activities with my friends. But now that I work from home alone, I have a lot of time to myself during the day, so I've actually made a point of scheduling a lot more social activities at the end of the day to provide me with the socializing that I want, but not necessarily get overwhelmed. So what this looks like is either on Mondays or Tuesdays, I schedule an event, and then Wednesday nights are my date night with my partner. Thursday nights are a night in that I always have to myself. And then Friday nights I go out as well if I have plans. And then I try to schedule one or two social activities for the weekend. If I do any more than that, I get overwhelmed and stressed. And so it's all about finding the balance that works out for you. You know, each person is going to have a different balance that they need. And it takes a lot of self-awareness to get to the point where you understand what your limits are and actually strive to stick to them. So for example, now that I work from home alone, I can have much more time for socializing at the end of the day and much more energy for socializing at the end of the day. But if I had a much more extroverted forward facing job where I was talking to people all the time, I wouldn't have that energy at the end of the day to do all the socializing. So it's all about finding the balance that works for you. So that's it today. Next time I will be finishing up the social needs with playtime. But until then, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram at Clarifications Coaching. And as always, feel free to leave any comments or questions below because I love hearing from you guys. And until then, take care. Love you guys. Happy Thursday.